Good evening, everybody. This is Miss Poopadoo, the world's most determined reporter, reporting for... Good evening. This is Miss Poopadoo, reporting for Channel 66, the Eyewitness News. I'm the most world's uh, determined reporter. Determination is what makes you succeed. Hey, even if it doesn't make you succeed, at least it's what keeps you alive now, isn't it? Today's question of the day, oh no, there was never any questions because we never get any answers. Today's interesting observation of the day is why can't we live in a society where we actually get to see elephants every day? Now, would that be nice, you know? You're walking out, you know, on the streets and you just see, you know, a couple of elephants walking around. Would that be kind of nice, you know what I mean? You get into the subway and you know, you see a couple of elephants sitting in the subways, you know, subway seats, sitting, sitting around, walking around. And you don't feel so bad, you know, because when the train gets so crowded and then the elephants, you know, they're so big and they push you a little bit, you're like, oh, that's okay, they're just so cute, you know, it's okay. Unlike, of course, when you actually get into a real train and it's jam-packed with all these people and they're just pushing you like this and pushing you like this and sometimes, you know, some people could get really, really nasty depending on what train stop they get in from, if you know what I mean. And then they really start cursing and who knows, you could get stabbed and killed and then everything suddenly just seems really unpleasant. Now, subtract all these people and replace them with elephants. How nice that would be. And imagine now, you know, you're in the supermarket and you're walking around and suddenly you're wondering, or even better, you know, you're walking around Trader Joe's and you're wondering, why are the shelves always empty, you know? Why are people buying so much of this, of these chips and this dip and all of this stuff, like as if they're going crazy, like they've never seen it in their entire life? But instead of these people, let's just say, there were just elephants, you know, in these shops like Trader Joe's and, you know, the elephants would just take their long trunks and just suck in all the food off the shelves. You'd be kind of like, oh, that's so cute. They're just kind of sucking the food off from the shelves, you know. That would be okay, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that just make the world a better place? And let's just say one day, you know, you're walking along, you know, you're walking on the pavement and... It's, it's a little bit, you know, it's raining a little bit and there are puddles all over and, you know, this SUV just goes really, really fast and it doesn't stop and suddenly it splashes all the all stuff on you. It goes right through the puddle and you soaked, you know, all the water just rises up and it slams you in the face and you're soaked with all this muddy water, you know. I mean, all the SUV had to do was just avoid the puddle, but it was so, you know, adamant about going into the puddle. They did not care about who's walking on the pavement and before you know it, you're splashed. Now let's just say this were an elephant, you know, and this elephant was just walking along the road and it was just playing with its little trunk and it saw the puddle of water and then it sucked it up and then you were walking and then it kind of sprayed it on you. I mean, at first, you know, like an unpleasant experience because why is this elephant spraying water all over me, you know? But then you kind of look at it and you're like, oh, that's so funny. I've never seen a sight like that before, you know? An elephant actually spraying you with water from a trunk right here in Queens. I mean, how nuts that is. And, you know, you just don't feel so bad. You know, it's actually okay. So, as you can see, there are obviously a lot of advantages to having elephants, uh, you know, walking around, you know, instead of so many people walking around because you feel less stressed, you know, and most of all, one of the most important things, you know, in having an elephant, let's just say, you know, you're in your apartment and those of you who don't have the luxury of being on the top floor, you know, you're say on the first floor and, you know, you hear all, you know, night long, sometimes all day long and you know, you know, there are all these people up there, you don't know what are they are doing up there, you know, what is going on with these people making noise all the time, and then let's just say one day you decide to, you know, go up, knock on the door and complain, I mean, if you live in a bad area, you really can't do that because you actually get shot for doing that, so I don't recommend that, but if you live in an okay area, you can kind of do that, so just tips, tips on the show. So you knock at the door, you know, you go up there, 
you knock on the door, and instead of, you know, this nasty person that opens the door and, you know, is filled with some nasty attitude, you see, like, a bunch of baby elephants running around in the apartment. You know, th doesn't that make it okay? So, you know, you can go back down into your apartment and lie down, and when you hear the noise, boom, 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 you can say, you know, it's okay, it's okay. It's just little baby elephants above me. It's okay, I can sleep now. They're so cute, they're just running around, they're probably bored, and they don't know what to do. See? So, um, I just wanted to tell all of you how life could improve greatly if we had a lot of elephants. That would be really nice, you know? And, you know, that silly sign that you always hear, you know, honk. If you honk, there's a $350 penalty, you know? First of all, if you honk, there's a $350 penalty. Do I get the $350? I don't get the $350, but I still have to hear the honk. So I don't know what the point is. But if you've got an elephant, the elephant can blow its trumpet. And no one has got to pay $350, but you still get to hear the elephant's trumpet for free. So now, isn't that nice? Isn't it lovely? So, obviously, there are a lot of advantages to having an elephant. Lots of elephants, you know? Lots of elephants! Especially in a very busy city like New York. That would be great. Oh, and you know what would be even great if you've got elephants? Let's just say, you know, Somehow, you know, Mr. Van show was being aired in some place and suddenly it was just congregated and filled with people that didn't like the show. The elephant can actually walk in and trample all these people to death. I mean, wouldn't that be great? So, as you can see, an elephant has got a lot of valuable uses. I mean, we, we clearly have to investigate this more. We have to bring elephants into our life. That's the way life should be. So once again, this is Ms. Poopy Duty Waltz, most top reporter, reporting to Channel 66. I have this news bringing you the latest news in um, elephants, elephant behavior, and what we should do.